This is a quick app preview of Instagram for Windows Phone, which was just released today. So it's finally the official version of Instagram, and the interface is pretty nice, and the app overall performs quite quickly, but there are some pretty critical flaws in the app. One of the main ones is it's really slow to actually select a picture or take a picture. I clicked the button, and I'm still waiting here, and that was probably at least seven seconds for it to load. I think it must actually load every single picture in your entire collection, which I have a lot of pictures. And the other flaw that I found is that when you're actually applying filters to this, you can't see live previews of the filters down here. It's all just the generic set on a single picture. It'd be a lot nicer if it actually applied the filters to your picture so you could see live previews while scrolling through. So that's a little unfortunate. and. The blur effect is kind of slow here too. It, do, it seems like the frame rate's a little slow on that, not as fast as it should be, but otherwise it does let you take pictures and post pictures. So it is functional to a degree. They should have just used the built-in picture selector that Windows Phone has, so that was a stupid mistake on their part. But basically everything's functional. It is missing videos, but Instagram said that they will be adding video support soon, and that's why it's labeled a beta because it doesn't have video support. But it shows you your notifications. According to the settings, it does have push notifications and a live tile. I haven't tested that yet, haven't had anyone to comment on things with. And you can view your own profile, see all your previous uploads, and everything. So, overall, the app is usually snappy, other than um, taking and uploading pictures, that's the only slow part, but otherwise the interface is really nice, it's an elegant app, and it's available for free.